You would know by now that the Council of State has redirected a right to information request, uh, an applicant to liaise with a private entity, the Metropolitan Television, to secure information he requested from the Council. The applicant, Dr. Elik Plim Kwabla, uh, says the response from the Council of State is a selective application of the law by the Council of State. Now, let's take you through what the Act says. In uh, the RTI Act 2019, Act 989, according to Section 21, it says that information readily available in the official publication, and it talks about um, where public institution receives an application for access to information, which uh, the knowledge of the public institution uh, with the knowledge of the public institution is already available in an official publication held by another public institution, the public institution shall, and then it continues to say that, direct the application to that public institution having custody of the official publication containing the information sought, and B, notify that public institution of the request by the applicant. This has been in contention. Uh, Act 20, Act 20 and Act 21 have all come into play following uh, the request by Dr. Elik Plim, the Right to Information Act. So reacting to this development, the Executive Secretary of the Right to uh, Information Commission, um, Yao Sapon Boating, says that the misunderstanding possibly uh, is from the misinterpretation of sections 20 and 21 of the law, and it says it will be addressed in the legislative instrument. Watch this. There are two aspects of the law that deal with matters that come to an institution and uh, can either be referred or transferred to an institution, or if it has already been published in a document, you can refer the individual to the official publication. The issue with Section 21 is whether or not information requested was actually official information, was actually in respect on a, of an official publication, or it was just a request that another institution had made. And therefore, you are referring them to that other institution that requested for information to get that information. I think the, the, the divergence is on whether or not that release of information to a certain party was official, was an official publication. Our attitude here at the Right to Information Commission is that if party A requests for information, all right, and you give you, you find no reason in the law to prevent the access to that information. So you give out that information to party A, all right? Then you should make that information available to everyone else. I would have probably preferred that information that I may have given to party A, I may have it in duplicate form. And therefore it is easier for me to give you a copy of that information than to refer you to that third party. Where I see the confusion was whether or not the publication to a third party was an official publication. So in our LI that we are still drafting, we'll consider the definition for public uh, official publication. And I think that will bring this kind of confusion to rest. So, um, it, I, I, I mean, in implementing the law, you are likely to come across all kinds of uh, developments. And uh, it's a guide because um, law is a living um, document. And therefore, every confusion that comes up, you should um, consider it in improving the law